Hey, this is Wesley from Millwright CNC. Um, today we're going to do a small project, just a really quick project. We're going to take a uh, mascot and put it on a coaster. Uh, to do that, we're going to start with new. And our stock is going to be 7 inches by 5 and a half inches by 3 quarters of an inch thick. That stock is a little bit thicker than what we actually need so uh, part of what we're going to do is we're going to plane that down to, uh, to half an inch because you don't need a three-quarter inch coaster. We're going to be working in pine and our datum position is going to be in the bottom left. Alright, first thing we're going to do, we got to do the outline of our coaster. So we're going to draw a circle here with a two-inch radius. Create that. It popped up right in the middle, but I'll show you how to center that if you are a little off center. And we're going to close that, uh, open it again. Next one we're going to do is just going to be a slight bit bigger because of uh, the planning operation. Um, Vetric, uh, they want you to change tools and we don't want to do a, a tool change later on, so we're just going to make a slightly bigger circle to for the uh, planing operation so we're going to create that wrap it around there close that out now if these circles were off-center you would just select them and go here to align selected items and right here to align to material and put it in the center of your stock ours is already in the center because I was fiddling with it earlier so next we're going to import a bitmap. Now this uh, picture is going to be just a generic, a generic mascot that I found online on a free site. Um, it is free for personal use and that's what we're using it for. We're not going to be using this for any resale. So it's just going to be used in this tutorial. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to resize this down to fit inside that circle. Move it there. And a tiny bit smaller. Yeah, that looks good. Next, we're going to use our trace bitmap feature. Click that. And uh, you have to select the colors you want to trace. It will trace it in red down here. So what we're going to do is just select this top row here. It's a black and white photo, so uh, we got everything we need just selecting those black ones, the black color. Now we're going to preview that. You see the outline, the red, apply, and close. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we're going to go to layer and turn off this bitmap layer. And now we're just left with the tracing. You can center this inside of the circle. Just select your trace, your bitmap, select the circle, go back to this alignment, and you're going to align to select it. And because we selected the circle last, it'll align it to the circle. There, now it's in the center. Come down here to close, and that is all we have to do to get ready. So we're going to go over here to this sign toolpath setup and we're going to select this outer circle here and we're going to use a pocket toolpath. Now our cut depth is going to be a quarter of an inch. We're going to take this three quarters down to half an inch. We're going to use this one fourth end mill here and we got it at 400 inches a minute for the uh, for the XY something that again our Mega V can easily handle, and then we have 120 on the plunge rate. It wants to default to three passes. We're going to cut that down to two passes, and uh, we should be good. So we will calculate that. Close this out. Next thing we got to do is we got to, it's going to make us change our tool 
So we're going to try to keep that one quarter inch end mill in there as long as we can before we have to change out to the V card. So we're going to go ahead and do our, our profile tool path. Now it is going to cut all the way through so our cut depth is uh, 0.75 inches. We still have our quarter inch end mill set to what we set it to previously. The number of passes we can cut down quite a bit. Make it four passes. We're going to add some tabs. 0.3 inches in length, 0.2 inches thick. Edit tabs. We're going to bump this up to three. So, one, two, three. Nice and anchored. Close that out. We are going to calculate this. Close that out. Last thing we're going to do is we're going to do the actual V carb engraving. So we'll select our bear, V carb engraving. We have to allow for that quarter inch we took away, so our start depth is going to be 0.26, just a little bit below, just to give us some better definition in the in the V carb. We got our uh, 90 degree quarter inch bit, and uh, similar to 400 inches a minute, 120 plunge rate. And we will calculate that. Now, one thing we don't want to do, like I told you before, is switch our, uh, our tools from the collet. We're going to try to keep the quarter inch in the middle the whole time until we have to switch to the V-car to the V-bit. So what we're going to do is this pocket here wants to use a 1-8 for the outside finishing pass, but we're not going to do that. Since we are using that outside circle, it will, it will not need the 1-8 to clear out that circle. And uh, with the profiling after need, anything left over will be taken care of with the profile. So. What we're actually going to do is make sure that's not highlighted. We're going to just delete that. Now, let's take a preview here, preview all of them. All right, there's our pocket. There's our profile. Next is the mascot. Looks pretty good. Right, let's take a look at this time. This is not including the tool changeover in, in the setup, but we are looking at 2 minutes 15 seconds of machining, uh, direct machining by the, by the Mega V. That's, uh, that's a pretty good one. Now we will save our, our tool paths here. Uh, we're going to have to uh, we're going to have to break this up. We got our quarter inch tool paths. We're going to save those. We got a Gerbil millimeters G code. We'll save those tool paths. Okay. Not downloads. Go to documents down here at VCAR Pro. And uh, you just name it whatever you want. We have. Bear mascot uh, one fourth. No. Save that. Now next we got to uh, select the V carve. Save that. Herbal millimeters G code. That will be bear mascot. I agree. Be bit. Well, there you go. The only thing left now is to run it.
As you can see, we got some uh, pretty good detail out of this finished product. A little bit of sand and a little bit of stain. And that barrel will just pop off the front and uh, it'll look good. We'll seal it up and uh, we can start using it as a coaster. And, uh, on yours, you can paint it however you want, you know, team colors, what have you. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, and if we end up uh, finishing this piece, we'll, we'll throw a picture up on the web. All right, thanks.